Hey guys, Happy New Year. Hope you had a great weekend slash long weekend, if you do have long weekends. And just a basically great new year. And we're starting off 2023 with some uh, card reveals, right? Some card reveals. So first off, we get new heals, which is quite cool. So this is called Stealth Feed Tamari Hime. But the effect is auto when this unit is placed on the Guardian Circle. If your Vanguard grade is less than your opponent's Vanguard's grade, this unit gets shield plus 10,000 until the end of that battle. So basically, if your opponent is grade 4 and you're grade 3, you have a 20k shield, right? Which is... It's, it's not bad, right? It's not bad. Also, if you go second as well, you should be able to guard better with a 20k shield. So it's like a slightly modern form of a heal guard at the cost of your guardians like later on being very weak, at least just for your heal. It's very weird. I feel like... They should have given like a plus 15k, but maybe that just makes it like so much better against grade 4 decks. Which is getting, there are great, more grade 4 decks coming out, right? So not only do we have the grade 4 decks from set 4, you also have the decks from, well that are coming up like Chrono Jet and the Messiah Stride. Basically all that stuff will be uh, relevant. Also, I guess if you play premium, this is kind of relevant, except that, you know, you already have 20k shields of premium. So yeah, yeah, don't, don't worry about this. Uh, so yeah, this is a bit weird for me. Kind of, kind of still a meta call. This is what these counter counter heals are supposed to be. They're supposed to be like meta calls, but I feel like they could have just bumped this one up a bit more. Uh, they also did reveal the arts for everything else. So if you look at this, uh, this is for dark states. You have the Brand Gate one as well, and then Keter, and then Stoikea. So all of them are revealed. They all have the same effect, and that's pretty much that. Then the next thing we got was some Youthberg support. So here we have Destruction Dragon, Dirge War Dragon, and this is the one that we saw in the trailer and we're hyping up, is this the new form of Youthberg? And the sad thing is that it's pretty mid, right? So first of all, it is auto when this card is discarded from hand during your turn. With Vanguard with Youthberg in its card name, you can counter blast one, choose one of your opponent's rear guards and put it on the bottom of the deck. So I guess like the cool application of this is you can, if let's say you play against an Ava, they've got an intercept, right, an obstigate, you can bottom deck it and they get one less intercept, that's pretty cool. The bad thing about this is that you need a Counter Blast 1, which, okay, you might not use that much. Use it for Tempest, use it for your Grade 2 Ride Line, and you use it for Schneisel, but not always, you don't always use Schneisel, right? So, there's that. It does require a Counter Blast 1. It is a Grade 3, which makes it bad, right? Pretty bad. You have so many Grade 3s, you're actively trying to run less Grade 3s in the deck, because you want more defensive power. And, yeah, it's just... It's just not a very good effect, right? Like a plus one is usually better than a minus one. So this being like a counter blast one for a minus one, it costing a grade three slot just doesn't seem that valuable, right? So kind of unfortunate there. Then we also have Knight of Vanquish Bow Svilt. So auto back row center regard circle. When this when your Vanguard is placed on Vanguard Circle by the Rebel Dress ability, you stand this unit and this unit gets power 10,000 until the end of turn. So this is a double R. The previous one was actually common, right? So you actually, don't, don't feel too bad about that card. Well, the art was cool. Maybe it could have been like a better card, but hey, it's a common card. This one is a double R. I don't really s feel like I want to see this played because one, you have to put it behind the Vanguard circle and that is usually where your Sequanas are because you want to put like better cards on the other side and then you can do like, you know, the boost play and then put the Sequana in and, and all is good. So I, I just don't see a space for this. However, if in the future they release a new Rebel form that's like, but like Sentinel Restrict or something like that, then, you know, hey, I'd, I'd probably maybe run this just to make it harder to guard. Or like if they put in something that already gains a drive, like a, like a better Gust, for example, then sure, it's like, um, you know, you this might see play. But apart from that, I just don't, I just don't feel it will, right? So it's like a 5k boost, so like, Still not that great in like a deck where everything boosts for 10k. You think about that, right? So your first Vanguard swing, your booster is either a Sequano or a Wayward Therapy Angel. Those are 10k boosts, right? This is only a 5k boost. Kind of like, sure, whatever, right? But usually your Vanguard, your first Vanguard swing is also the weakest. So having a 10k boost there kind of balances out the power a bit more versus getting a huge Vanguard swing on the, uh, the Rebel Dress, which is usually a bit bigger, right? Gust gets power, Tempest gets power, so... Yeah, not a huge fan of this card. And then lastly, we get the Garmore look, look, look alike, right? Knight of Plowing Dolbreak. 
So auto front row rear guard circle. When your vanguard is placed in the vanguard circle by the revel dress ability, you choose one of your vanguards and it gets power 5,000 into the end of the turn. That's already pretty good. And the second effect is auto regard circle. When this unit attacks a grade three or greater unit, uh, soul blast one card with revel form in its card name, and this unit gets power at 10,000 until the end of that battle. So this seems like a pretty, pretty auto include in the deck, right? It is the triple R. Uh, I, I do have to say, like, at this point in Youthburg, you already have such a good deck. You're basically trying to replace the flex slot, which is your cat girl, right? Your defensive cat girl. And that's pretty much it. So this, I think, is like an auto-include, just replacing that. It is... It won't replace Schneisel, though, right? Schneisel, yeah, it's a bit weird, right? Because you have to attack with Schneisel first to give your Vanguard 5k. But Schneisel just works. It searches whatever you want. It does require a CB. But it just works. And also... The second effect of this guy, it only really goes off on the turn four because you do need to soul blast something with revel form, revel form in its card name. So that basically happens whenever you like, you know, you, you revel dress and then you ride back onto your uh, youth perk. So that will at the plus side is yeah, it does use up your soul, which is something that you know people are struggling to do because it just stacks up. So it does use that and gets quite decent power, quite needed power in a way. Like you have games with Youthburg where they go, I've just been decking out with Youthburg, what do I do? Because it's just you don't combo, you don't get enough Persona Rides to make your turn super threatening or maybe the heal next time. And that's something you can't deal with. But this does help you smooth out your power columns as well on like non-Persona Ride turns. To overall just be able to you know finish games. That's the key thing, right? So overall, I think this is a pretty good card. Maybe not a four of, right? Maybe not a four of. Just something to replace your flex slots, but that is basically what Youthburg really needs right now, and that will probably make it like a really good deck, right? Well, it already is a really good deck. They kind of just keep it in line with everything else while everything else kind of gets better, right? So those are all the reveals today. Really nice art for this, by the way. Really like the uh, uh, the plowing here, right? So uh, keep up the good art, I guess. Keep up the good, good art. Next week, we're getting some cross overdress stuff, so look out for that, but... That is just it. Quick video from me. I'll see you guys later. All right. Bye.